Absolutely. Can you talk about the mood on the set this year, knowing that this is your final final year together? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this this. Uh, there's a, you know what it's I the thing the, the funny part is like uh, you go to work and every year it's different because somebody's dead <laughs> so it's you know I mean the group the, the, the core group gets smaller and smaller you know and, uh, and you're left having to act with me yeah you know you had to talk until you never talk alright I'll shut up so but you know so it's different that way you, you know uh, Certain person. I'm not talking to you. Certain personalities. <laughs> I'm having our own conversations with you. Yeah, I know. In the middle of mine. Okay? Yeah. Close your legs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Give me this one. Right, right away, you go to that position. Uh, it's just the group is small. So it, it, and we all have big personalities, right? So, you know, there's a personality missing every year. Uh, that's what's different. So, you're going to miss me. I'm going to miss you. You know what I mean? If you run away, I won't miss you. Drea, for you, um, you started season one just in a few episodes. Do you remember what it was like in those days? Like, were you told your character was going to come back and then now you're here full time? So, kind of talk about what it's like to have been now being a, a full time character for season seven. The whole she thing was that. You, you know, you didn't like the show at first. She didn't like the show. And she, then she just He's watched right. it. And she, He's right. I was like, I don't want to stay on the show. No. And then she watched it. And she said, no, I was. I, uh, I came in with uh, with John Linson for the se- uh, for just the pilot, and the character was supposed to die originally. Um, Kurt had written that character is dead. So when I decided to do it, they kept the character alive. But then I couldn't stay because then I had to go do some desperate housewives. <laughs> And then I had to go get pregnant again. And then I came back. And then I, I was watching season, I was watching the Ireland stuff, I think, and I texted Kurt and I was like, oh my God, the show is unbelievable. I'm obsessed with it right now. And he's like, do you want to come back? He's like, you're coming out of rehab. I was like, hell yeah. So I came back. But you know, in and out and stuff. I think the series regular thing was a formality at the end to make sure I wasn't traveling back and forth to New York like I usually am. Like they had to lock me down just with the end, but it's the same. I'm still in and out the way I've always been. The only difference is our sex scenes. <laughs> our sex what's scenes. What's going are, on right uh, here? We got some this heat fucking going guy. on. Stop it. <laughs> Those big muscles. Stop it. <laughs> really are impressive. I know. I don't know what happened. Yeah. I think it's a lot. Is it this arm? Is it stronger? Stronger. <laughs> Yeah. Look at all the cookies she has. Really? Is that your breakfast? Why does she have so many cookies? We got none. Nothing. Huh? What do we got? Who's got a question? Who's what do you question? think about her arc over these seasons? I mean, coming in and out, and everything. What's happened to her? Wendy, you don't. Know, I think what happens all the time with a lot of shows, but my character's written off as this the, the junkie whore or psycho or, you know, a terrible person, and she really is the only character who's who's innocent. And yeah, I am going to refer to this panel as I am. Yeah. It's the same well, thing. People, she's, a rat. She's, a rat. she's a rat. She's a rat. She's a rat. Um, she's innocent. The character, the character is innocent. When I did the fucking Um... So it's just sort of a misconception that she's, you know, this, she's the, the only person who's not manipulating. She's the only person who's not out to get over on somebody. And then, um, so it makes sense that she's still around in life. So with, with Tarragon... She's an angel, right? <laughs> with Tarragon now, how is uh, Wendy's relationship going to be with Jack? I think with um, no, I don't. I don't know anything about that. But I will say that with Tara gone, I feel like the the, the slate has just been wiped clean of a lot of shit because there are the babies to contend with, and there was so much drama had just happened last season. So things are just sort of finding their way, redefining themselves without her at the head of that of that family. 